I can't even tell you how many great ideas I never acted on over the years, simply because I didn't make an effort to capture them in some way, or how many times I had to fumble through my memories and frustration trying to remember what happened, who said what, or what the consensus was. Or how many times I had to fumble through my files, notes, and emails trying to find where I wrote what I was looking for. I tried carrying a small notepad with a cute little pen, or type something and save it as an email draft, or just keep writing in a writing Word document. Better yet, sticky notes. I even had a notebook where I organized my important post-its. Instead of writing on the pages, I wrote on post-it notes and then I glued them on the blank pages. Why? Because I could move them around. When a more important note was added, it was sort of like a bastardized version of a Kanban board. Yeah, good times. Anyway, all this was an attempt to come up with a system to simplify my life, but none of the tools I tried worked. Everything was tedious, bloated, and just went against the grain. Enter Apple Notes, which I dutifully ignored for years because having grown up in the Windows environment, I was taught that any built-in and or free app is pure garbage. Well, better late than never, I learned Apple apps are different. And just like all other built-in Apple apps, Notes is free, it's already on all of my devices, Everything sinks everywhere in an instant, it's slam dunk easy, and it has the power of a freight train. And so today I want to share how I use Notes in conjunction with other Apple apps on my Mac and my iPad. And if you like it, you can do the same in a few minutes. All right, let's go. Back a few years ago, before I started using Notes, I wanted to make sure that I was comfortable with what it does and how it does it. I didn't want to spend time setting my stuff up only to find out that I'm using it wrong or it was just not the right app for my needs. And so I wanted to be clear mainly on three things before committing. The first thing I wanted to understand was the difference between Notes and Reminders. Which one is best for what? If you are new to these two apps, think about them in terms of a spreadsheet and a word processor, pages and numbers, or Word and Excel. Yes, I can create a text document in a spreadsheet and I can create a table in a word processor, but it's going to be a massive struggle if I do that. And so I use reminders to manage all of my scheduled and actionable items, such as to-dos, tasks, and backlogs. Notes, on the other hand, is many things. But one thing it isn't is scheduling and reminding. By the way, my next episode is about how I use reminders. So what is Notes? Notes is a word processor. It's a calculator. It's an awesome PDF editor. It's a sketchpad. It's a voice recorder. And it's a voice transcriber. It's a checklist. And it's a secrets keeper. Like I said, Notes is many things. But as busy as it sounds, all of this is wrapped in a very simple, clean, and super intuitive interface. It has just enough tools at your fingertips to get a whole lot done without getting bogged down in menus, dropdowns, tabs, and toolbars. I'm a software developer. I can really appreciate the level of effort that went into creating something as simple and powerful as Notes interface. All right, what do I use Notes for? I use it for anything that is not directly actionable or time boxed on its own. I scribble all of my work meeting notes, notes from various calls, system design ideas, agendas, and so on. Also, all of my YouTube scripts, titles, and episode descriptions, all of that is organized in notes. Notes is also a word processor on steroids where all of my files are right here in the sidebar. I can link my notes together and I can hashtag them for all the filtering. I can lock my notes with a password. I can rearrange pages, mark up and fill out any PDF document. I draw flow charts and process diagrams alongside with my text notes. I have access to Apple writing tools and built-in chat GPT. So everything sits together in one place in a group hug. Moving on. Next on my list was to ensure that organizing and searching in notes was fast and intuitive. The last thing I wanted to have is more friction in my life using a tool that's supposed to eliminate friction. And notes does deliver here as well. I feel that organizing and navigating is excellent. But in a strange way, it's actually more than that. 
when I first started with nodes, I got this unfamiliar level of comfort seeing all of my files, my entire life right here on the sidebar. It felt good knowing that everything I need is there always on all of my devices and it's always up to date. I don't need to sync anything, log in and dig through my drives and folders looking for things. All right, let's take a look. These are my actual notes on my Mac. I organize my notes in folders and subfolders. I personally found this setup very easy to navigate and I can quickly locate what I'm looking for. You can set up as many subfolder layers as you like. I typically stop at two layers underneath my top folder. Otherwise, I end up with too many clicks. Creating folders is simple. I can either click at the bottom of the sidebar or go File, New Folder on the Mac. To create a new subfolder, you can click on the three dots in the parent folder. I personally forget about the ellipsis magic and so I just create a new folder and then drag it over the one I want it to sit under, like this. As soon as you add a subfolder, notes will make its parent folder collapsible, which is very convenient because I can make my sidebar look very organized and focused with just one click. Now let me show you how I organize my sidebar. I have four main folder categories. I have here business, life, money, and work. And my last consideration was around text formatting options. Notes provides the same text formatting options typically available throughout the entire Apple environment. Now, I want to share four of my absolute favorite features to Notes. I love things like this because they make my life so much easier and simpler. We'll start with the end. Number four, ability to collapse the title, heading, and subheading. Let me show you. The title will collapse everything underneath it until the next title. The heading will collapse everything until the next heading, and the subheading will collapse all the text below it. So we've got three dynamic text layers that we could manipulate to create a cleaner and focused space. Number three, Apple Pencil. Using it to capture notes, draw quick charts, arrows, and diagrams on my iPad is so, so helpful for me. I write faster than I type, so this is huge to keep everything typed and handwritten in one place, within one note. And then I can do this little trick to straighten my notes or even convert my scratch into typed text. On my iPad, I can circle my handwritten text with the selection tool, like this, then tap on the three dots, tap straighten, and this will happen. Or I can copy and paste as text, and notes will try to recognize what I wrote and paste that as type text. So cool. Number two, scanning handwritten notes and transcribing that into type text. This is another one of those unassuming Apple ecosystem features that is so helpful when I need it. Do I use it every day? No. But when I need it, it's so helpful. And now, my absolute favorite and by far the best feature for my personal workflow. It's the ability to drag and drop everything from emails to files to calendar invites. I get a ton of emails and while I can absolutely organize my mailbox much better, the truth is that I see no value in spending my time tinkering with my inbox. The search capability in email apps is just absolutely dismal, and I personally only need to preserve a fraction of my emails that really matter, that must be in the right place and with the right context. But flagging them or saving them in some important things folder doesn't do it for me. I need context and sometimes a narrative, not a subject line, and I can't do it in my inbox. I use notes alongside with other Apple apps to manage my projects at work. There is no other project management system out there that comes anywhere close to what the Apple ecosystem can do. Specific to my projects, I use notes to manage my decisions log, project notes, drawings, and flowcharts. And the decision logs are one of the most important project management tools for me. I lost count how many times I had to go back to my log to pull up an evidence of a particular decision we made months ago that's now been challenged. Most of the decisions in my world are documented via email, but it can be a meeting, a cold transcript, a file, and a bunch of notes or drawings I made to contextualize the conversations. And so I simply drag and drop all that into a note, name it, date it, and done. Anyway, let me show you how I do it. I use the split screen on my iPad. Let's say this is the email I want to link to a note. 
click, wiggle around to unstick it, and then drag and drop. Tap on the link, rename the subject line into something that's more informative, and done. You can link files, photos, and even copy text messages. Notes is a remarkable app, but together with reminders, they create a powerhouse like nothing else out there. My next episode is all about reminders and how I use that fantastic app to keep my life together and functioning. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I enjoyed sharing with you what I know and how I make it all happen and the various tools and techniques I use every day. We're all done for today. Thank you for staying to the very end and reach out if you need help or have questions. I'm always happy to connect. I'll see you in the next one. I love you.